Hey guys, this is Cameron with Motion Science, and today I've got another tip on compositing, specifically compositing textures over layers. And let me show you what I'm what I've got here. On one layer, well, on one layer I've got my MTV logo. On the next layer, I've got this animated texture I created. It's just a black and white texture. I've also got this colored like watercolor paint texture. And I've also got this gray texture. So all three textures moving look like this. They're all, they're all using transfer modes and uh, layer together to create this one texture. So what I see a lot of people doing is, is this. They would take this single logo layer, they would duplicate the logo, and they would drag it above a texture, they would turn that texture on, and they'd say alpha or luma matte, this logo. Then they would duplicate this layer again, bring it above the next texture, do the same thing, alpha matte, And then they would duplicate the layer one more time, bring it to the very top of the layer. One more alpha mat. And then you end up with this cool MTV logo. And that works great. Uh, the only issue I have with it is that now I've got uh, eight layers here, including my background. So if you've got multiple other texture layers going on, multiple other layers in your comp, Suddenly, I've just added three additional layers I don't need. Uh, it's getting a little bit messy. So let me show you a way that you can clean this up. And I'll undo all of this. And I'll turn these texture layers back on. And I'm going to go to Effect, Channel, Set Matte. And this is a really cool plugin comes with After Effects. Right here where it says take map from layer, I'm gonna change this from itself to the M black layer, which is the logo layer. Tell it to recognize the alpha channel, and there we go. I'll copy this effect to this layer. And again, to this top layer. And as you can see, I've got five layers, my comp is way more clean and easy to work with, and I've still got the same layering effect going on without using the alpha mat or the luma mat. It's a really simple technique, but yet it's very powerful. So that's it for today. Until next time, I'm Cameron, and this is Motion Science.